Hi, Big Jim here, back on uh, our little backyard uh, workshop. I've got the um, wine racks uh, assembled, and they've been sitting out here for several hours now, so I think the uh, epoxy has uh, set up properly. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamps. Okay. There's one. So now we have one uh, wine rack ready to go. And our other ones. Let's remove various things. One of the things you have to be careful about with wood and your and gluing up things is that uh, you got to make sure that the uh, project stays flat and level because um, when if you glue something that's wood in it and it's twisted or it's got some torque on it. That torque will stay part of the wood forever. So you want to make sure that you glue it and it's nice and flat. And I noticed that when I was gluing this uh, second rack together that there was a little twist in it when I was uh, putting the, the clamps on. And I wanted to make sure that that didn't, didn't get uh, permanent in the, uh, in the uh, rack itself so that and there's always a little bit of, sometimes, a little bit of, uh, when glue, when the uh, epoxy hardens on plastic, sometimes the plastic will stick uh, to it a little bit. And that's just what happened on this rack. Uh, metal and epoxy don't always get along. So we don't usually have to worry about the metal uh, being glued. And here we go. We have one last uh, wood wood uh, clamp to take off. And now let's see if this is glued to the uh, plexiglass. Yes, it was. So here we go. Rack number two. So these these will not sit this way on the boat. But there you go. So these will be stacked up higher than like that. You'll have the alcohol. You want to have an, enough gap between them so that you can squeeze the bottles in. Some of the bottles are larger than others. One of the things you should need to be careful of is we want to make sure this rack um, is compatible with both wine bottles, uh, various liquor bottles, but there's also the 1.75 liter bottles that are out there that have um, uh, a little bit larger dimension. So if you want to uh, accommodate the different kinds of bottles you want to make sure that your your gap and your size of your rack is going to accommodate the original wine racks that we had on the boat w did not do that so we want to make sure that the new ones or this new one uh you know accommodates both the smaller and larger bottles and then there's variations between even the larger bottles too so you'll see some whiskey bottles are slightly wider uh gin uh, Bombay Gin is, is a bigger bottle than uh, normal uh, 1.75. Uh, so it's a good idea to look at your liquor cabinet, find the, uh, the, the bottles that are out of nor ordinary, and then use those as your basis of your design. So I think uh, everything looks pretty good. We're going to uh, uh, sand it down, get rid of all the, the uh, squeeze out on here. Make it look nice. Uh, the, the glue hasn't uh, fully cured yet, or the glue, I keep calling it glue. Epoxy has not fully cured yet, so it will be um, at least 24 hours before this is at its uh, full strength. And then some uh, some uh, fiberglass actually, or fiberglass r resin, actually takes longer than 24 hours, uh, depending on what kind you're using, to completely set and get to its full strength. And I've had situations where I thought something had set up, but it actually had not fully cured. And as a result, it, it uh, broke apart or fell apart uh, after putting a little stress on it. So you wanna make sure that you, you wait until everything is good. Even sanding can uh, put a lot of stress on your joints and, and your, in your uh, connections. So that's it for now. We're gonna um, figure out how we wanna uh, uh, separate the two shelves uh, and see how they work uh, in the long run. More on Lucio Marie and the Wine Rack project later.